What makes a great presentation? You might say, a clear and confident delivery of ideas. And you wouldn't be wrong, but there's more to it. There's a tool that can help you, and it's called a presentation rubric. This is a standardized scale that provides a clear framework for assessing presentations. It covers various aspects which determine the effectiveness of a presentation. These aspects include clear delivery of ideas, confident delivery, effective and articulate delivery, voice and pronunciation, eye contact, use of visual aids, ability to understand and respond to questions, and adaptability to the audience level. Each of these components is evaluated on a five-tiered scale. Poor, fair, moderate, good, and very good. By understanding each of these components and how they're evaluated, you can refine your presentation skills, ensuring you're not just heard, but remembered. Understanding this rubric can help elevate your presentations from good to very good, from forgettable to memorable. First up, we have clear delivery of ideas. This is all about how well you explain your concepts. Let's start at the bottom. A poor delivery of ideas lacks clarity, particularly when it comes to banking concepts like treasury management. You might use jargon without providing an explanation, leaving your audience confused. Moving up a notch to a fair delivery, you're somewhat clear, but you occasionally use technical terms like liquidity or risk management without adequate explanation. This can make it hard for your audience to fully grasp your ideas. Next, we have a moderate delivery. Here, you're generally clear and you explain most banking terms, but you may miss some like interest rate swaps or asset liability management. You're doing okay, but there's still room for improvement. Now we're getting to the good stuff. A good delivery is clear and concise. You explain all banking terms, even complex ones like derivative markets in commercial banking. Your audience can follow along easily, understanding your ideas. Finally, we reach the very good delivery. This is exceptionally clear. You articulate even the most complex banking concepts like hedging strategies in an understandable way. Your audience isn't just following along, they're engaged and interested because they understand exactly what you're saying. Remember, clarity is key. Make sure your audience can understand your ideas, no matter how complex they might be. Don't assume they know what you're talking about. Explain your terms, provide context, and break down your ideas into manageable chunks. And most importantly, practice. The more you practice your presentation, the clearer your delivery will be. It's not just about what you say, but how you say it. And that's all for clear delivery of ideas. Always keep in mind that your main goal is to make your audience understand your thoughts and ideas. Because at the end of the day, a presentation is only as good as its understanding. Our next on our list is confident delivery of ideas. Confidence can make or break your presentation. Imagine two presenters discussing the same subject, say, mergers and acquisitions. One presenter fumbles with words, showing signs of nervousness and doubt. This is an example of a poor performance. A fair performance might involve the occasional falter, especially when dealing with complex topics. In a moderate performance, the presenter displays confidence in most areas but might show uncertainty when discussing intricate subjects. However, a good performance is characterized by a presenter who radiates confidence across a wide range of banking topics, including advanced ones like corporate finance. Finally, the very good performance is the pinnacle of confidence. The presenter is highly assured, unflinching even when explaining intricate subjects like mergers and acquisitions. Remember, confidence comes with practice. The more you know your material, the more confident you'll be. Moving on to effective and articulate delivery of ideas. This is where your communication skills really come into play. At the lower end of the scale, we have poor. This is when a presenter struggles to effectively convey ideas on banking operations. They may be able to explain the basics, but the lack of articulation makes it difficult to understand more complex concepts. For instance, they might stumble through an explanation of foreign exchange management leaving the audience more confused than enlightened. Next, we have fair. Here, 
the presenter is somewhat effective. They can convey basic ideas, but may struggle when it comes to complex topics. For example, they might be able to explain the basics of a bank's operations, but when it comes to compliance and regulation, their explanation lacks clarity and depth. Moving up the scale, we reach moderate. Here, the presenter effectively conveys most ideas, but may not be fully articulate in certain areas. They might give a satisfactory explanation of credit risk management, but it lacks the detail or clarity that would make it truly exceptional. Then we have good. This is where a presenter articulately explains a wide range of banking topics. They make subjects like credit risk management accessible and interesting. Their explanations are clear, their language is precise, and they guide the audience through the topic with ease. Finally, we reach the top of our scale with very good. This is where a presenter excels in articulating all aspects of banking. They can take complex topics like financial derivatives and make them easily comprehensible. They paint a clear picture, use language effectively, and deliver their ideas in a way that engages the audience and aids understanding. Remember, the goal here is not just to convey information, but to do so in a way that is clear, engaging, and makes even the most complex ideas understandable. It's a skill that takes practice, but the results are well worth the effort. Effective and articulate delivery can make even the most complex ideas understandable. Now, let's talk about voice and pronunciation. Your voice is a powerful tool. Use it wisely. Imagine a presentation where the speaker mumbles or is inaudible, mispronouncing banking terms like amortization or equity, this would be considered poor. Fair voice and pronunciation is when you're mostly audible but occasionally mispronounce terms or lack modulation. On the other hand, a moderate level of voice and pronunciation involves a clear voice and correct pronunciation, but may lack variation in tone. On a good level, your voice should be clear and well modulated with correct pronunciation of all banking terms. When you reach the very good level, your voice should be exceptionally clear with excellent modulation and impeccable pronunciation. Remember, your voice is more than just a means of delivering information. It's a tool to engage, persuade, and inspire your audience. Your voice and pronunciation can enhance your presentation. Practice, practice, practice. Last but not least, eye contact. Your eyes can be just as expressive as your words. Let's break it down. At the poor level, you'll see little to no eye contact with the audience. It's as if the presenter is speaking to an empty room rather than engaging with listeners. Moving up to fair, the presenter makes some eye contact, but often looks at notes or away from the audience. It's better, but there's still a disconnect. At the moderate level, the presenter maintains fair eye contact, but may occasionally drift away. It's clear they're trying to connect, but there's room for improvement. The good level sees consistent eye contact, showing the presenter is aware of and responding to the audience. And finally, at the very good level, the presenter maintains steady eye contact, using it to emphasize points and engage listeners fully. It's not just about looking at your audience. It's about connecting with them. Eye contact helps you connect with your audience. Use it to your advantage. So we've covered all the components of our presentation rubric. To sum up, let's start with clear delivery of ideas. Aim for exceptional clarity. Articulate complex banking concepts like hedging strategies in a manner that everyone can understand. Remember, the clearer your explanation, the better your audience will grasp the concept. Moving on to confident delivery of ideas, it's vital to exude confidence, especially when explaining intricate subjects like mergers and acquisitions. Believe in your knowledge and let it show. Confidence can make all the difference in how your presentation is perceived. Next, effective and articulate delivery of ideas is a crucial component. Strive to make complex topics like financial derivatives easily comprehensible. The true test of knowledge lies in your ability to simplify the complex. Our fourth component, voice and pronunciation, 
is often overlooked but is just as important. A clear voice with excellent modulation and impeccable pronunciation can make your presentation stand out. Practice speaking out loud and work on your pronunciation to ensure your audience understands every word. Fifth, eye contact is a powerful tool in presentations. It can engage your audience and make them feel connected to you and your presentation. Try not to focus too much on your notes and instead look at your audience. It can make a world of difference. In all these components, remember, the aim is not just to be good, but to be very good. Each level, from poor to very good, represents a stepping stone towards becoming a better presenter. Don't be disheartened if you find yourself at a lower level. Instead, use it as a motivation to climb up the ladder. Remember, a great presentation is a blend of all these components. Practice them, perfect them, and you'll be on your way to delivering a very good presentation. Thank you for watching this guide on mastering the art of presentation. We hope you found it valuable and insightful. To continue your journey towards becoming an excellent presenter, we invite you to visit our website, muhammadmuhaizam.weebly.com. There, you'll find a wealth of resources, including additional guides, tips, and tricks to help you elevate your presentation skills. Our website is a treasure trove of knowledge that can help you navigate your way to being a very good presenter and beyond. Remember, practice makes perfect, and we're here to help you every step of the way. So don't wait. Visit muhammadmuhaizam.weebly.com and let's take this journey together. See you there. Thank you for viewing.